Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Welcome back to my channel. Today's card, I'm going to be using the Magnolia Glimmer Blooms from Spellbinders. I'll have links to all of the products I'm using today in the video description below for your convenience. This is part of Yana's new collection and I absolutely love Magnolias anyway. Um, I also did another video. The other one was using the Magnolia Blooms um, die set, but actually it was basically the same image. Uh, let me grab that. Same image, but it's a bit bigger and it's where you die cut everything out. So I also got the Glimmer one, so because you guys know I love all things foil, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that today to make a couple of cards. Instead of just using the image once like I do so many times, I'm wanting to use it quite a few times on these cards that I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to try out a technique that I've used with doing some stamping. The glimmer plate comes with a shadow, so I went ahead and cut out several of the, the shape um, instead of doing the foiling first. And then I'm going to try adding the foil after the fact when I've got basically a, a template for my quote unquote foil stamping to see if I can get it to work that way. I used my quick cutter to cut a piece of foil that would go over my foil, foil plate shape, just the right size, and I'm trimming off all of the excess. Next I'm going to put my die cut piece into that little template and line up the glimmer plate over the top and try to figure out how to create the hinge in just the right place so I can slide that foil under. As you can probably guess at this point, it's not as, as easy as I thought it would be to begin with. So I keep on trying. Um, this time I'm gonna put the foil down first and then I change my mind again. I I think I fought with this for, I don't know, 20 minutes probably, trying to figure out how exactly to get it to work. I tried again with a bigger piece of tape to think maybe that would hold my hinge down better. Okay, this is some mint tape that I'm using now. So I'm going to fold a hinge on there and hopefully get it to hold everything in place like I want it and still be able to be folded. Now I, that has been my biggest problem with trying to use the hinge method is that my Glimmer plate always shifts. This time, okay, I got a little further. I think that that is working a little bit better. Yay, I got the foil under the plate. That is fantastic. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on my glimmer machine so that I can actually add the foil to the cardstock. So I gave my machine time to heat up, hit that little button so I could start the timer, and now I'm running it through my um, Platinum 6 machine. And then let's take a look and see how the foiling went. And it looks like I got a little bit of underfoiling. So um, luckily everything's still basically in place so I can run it back through again. Now I think that the reason that I got the underfoiling on this one is that I didn't put the thin shim on my glimmer, uh, glimmer platform. The sandwich that you're supposed to use on most glimmer plates is you use the uh, glimmer plate and you use the thin shim. But I've noticed that I get overfoiling on some and underfoiling on some. So it's just going to take me a little bit of time to get used to my specific machines and how they work together. So this time I did go ahead and use that thin shim. So let's take a look and see how that one turns out. Okay, that looks much better. That over the underfoiling issue is gone, but it was a bit difficult to get this thing to work. Now I'm going to try it another way, and this is putting the um, template down with the <laughs> with the, the glimmer plate on the platform, and then trying to position my cardstock and just use that one with a little um, hinge. And of course, because I go over the edge, it sticks. As you can tell, I am having some issues trying to do this. Now you're probably wondering, why are you going through all of that trouble? Wouldn't it be easier just to glimmer and then cut? Well, I'm trying to do what we would do for mass producing with stamping. And 
seeing if this will actually speed up the process. So far, I'd say it hasn't, but I'm not through trying. You guys know me enough to know I'm going to keep on going. So on the tape, I am basically trimming off the part that went over the um, template part to hopefully make it so that the hinge will work. Okay, I think I've almost got it, and you guys see that I have put the foil down, right? Um, but did you notice what I have probably done wrong? Let's see if you catch it. If you do, put a comment down in the comments letting me know what was my mistake right there. Okay, did you catch it? I foiled my plate. You're supposed to put the shiny side, <laughs> you're supposed to put the shiny side down so it doesn't do that. So what I did is I foiled my plate instead. No worries though, I've done this before and all it takes is a little bit of acetone to clean that off. And now you see that when I was trying to get the tape off, I ripped <laughs> the template. So now I'm going to try it again on the same one, this time having the foil on going the right direction and trying to kind of sort of line it up with the edge. As you can tell, I am having multiple issues trying to use this technique. So I'm going to trim some of that foil back farther away from my actual panel and then try to line it up with the glimmer plate again and see if I can get the foil going the right direction. Okay, have you seen enough of this kind of sort of blooper reel? <laughs> I almost cut all of this out, but I thought it might be useful because I know people have different kind of issues because of what they try and they think that that means that there's something wrong with the product. No, it's just that we're, we're crafters, we are creative, we try different things, which is awesome. Just remember, sometimes it's not going to work out right. <laughs> Okay, this time I foiled a bunch of the tape too because I had so much tape on there trying to hold everything together. And it was a bit hard for me to get the tape off because what I did was I had taped the foil very well down onto the card panel to get it to foil right. And some of the foil folded up so there's one leaf that is really not foiled at all. Okay, next attempt. Yes, I did cut out quite a few of these and that's because I want to use a bunch. I'm using less tape. I'm still taping my foil to the card panel, that, that die cut shape, and I'm trying to trim as much of the foil away as I can. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can hopefully be able to see where I'm supposed to lay the thing. Uh, it is a little bit difficult because you can't see the, through the foil, right? And I'm going ahead and putting both of those uh, plates down on there and then I'm going to run it through my Platinum 6 again. So this one foiled pretty good, but it's very crooked. So I would say that doing it this way is probably not the best way to do your mass producing of these images. The fastest, easiest way that I've found so far is to just foil it up and then cut it out. That way you can line up the die cut, the um, cutting die over your foiled image better. I always have trouble getting everything lined up perfect though and I thought that trying it the other way might work a little bit better 
and unfortunately I was wrong <laughs> but now you guys know so you can hopefully not <laughs> make the same mistake I did I hope that you're enjoying this I mean what me just doing the voiceover has got me cracking up okay time to get serious again I pulled out one of my paper packs and I'm gonna use some of the cut aparts which I don't do very often but I'm gonna use that for most of my card so I'm cutting apart these mostly these sentiment ones and I really like the thinking of you um, sentiment that just is so pretty I'm also using another um, couple of pieces of that pattern paper from that same um, that same pattern paper pack uh, say that fast anyway I'm gonna use a thank you and a thinking of you as my two sentiments I'm gonna make two cards and you can see I've got a bunch of those little foiled magnolias over there so first I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming everything down and then I can start assembling So I'm thinking that that foiled sentiment is going to look so nice with my little magnolia blossoms. So this is just going to be so pretty. And believe it or not, I still have more of those die cut magnolia blossoms left over that I didn't put any foil on. So what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to layer some of those up to go behind my foiled blossoms. Although I've been playing with them more lately, I haven't been one to use a lot of florals on my card. So I do have to take a little bit of time to try to figure out exactly where I want to put that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and adhere the sentiment down and then I'll glue down my, uh, my magnolia. Now, one thing I noticed after this first one that I'm putting together is that I didn't put quite enough glue right around the edges and so the some pieces of my magnolia were trying to lift up so I do have to add a little bit more of that adhesive down so that it looks a lot better that cut apart and that magnolia just looks so nice together I'm gonna to go ahead and adhere that panel down onto a pink card base and see how that looks and see if it needs anything extra I think that that would look so pretty so now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the second card So I'm doing this one pretty much the same way as I did the last, except this time I'm trying to make sure I put plenty of adhesive right along the edges so that the edges don't try to lift up when I stack these die cuts. Okay, I think that that's going to look pretty, but I still have all those extra pieces. So I'm doing a little bit of experimenting, looking to see if there's any way that I can use some of the extra pieces and add them to one of these two cards, just to give it a little bit extra. I tend to do just one and I want to up my game a little bit if I can and try a couple other things that I haven't been, I guess, willing to do. I'm always afraid I'm going to add too much and I don't really want it to look bad. So I'm going ahead and putting that first one in place and as I mentioned, I'm picking up another one of those pieces to see what'll work. And I'm doing some <laughs> glimmer foil surgery. I'm cutting off this one little blossom at the bottom because I think that that would be just enough without being too much, to add a little something to one or both of these cards. 
So you guys will have to let me know what you think. Should I have left the little blossom off or do you think that it looks as just kind of that perfect last final finishing touch on that card? I seriously thought about leaving those little leaves that are poking over the sides on the cards and then, you know, this leaving them on there I mean it won't fit in an envelope, which means I won't mail it and I don't I want to mail these. These are just too pretty and I want to share some of that. I'm going ahead and cutting off another of, of those little tiny blossoms to add to the bottom of the thinking of you card because it looked so nice on the thank you card. Now, if I didn't already love foil and already love magnolias, just having made these cards would make me love them now too, even more. Now, I mentioned another magnolia uh, flower card that I made just a few days ago. So if you want to see that, check out this video here. You are going to love it. Remember, if I can make it, you can too. You guys have a wonderful day. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye.